Right now, as Paris, of course, reported, Senator Vance has been in past uh, critical of Trump, but most recently has backed the former president. He was among Republicans speaking out in support of Trump during the hush money trial in New York. Vance uh, attacked the testimony of Michael Cohen during that time, and right now we are looking at live video of him on mm -hmm. the floor shaking hands, greeting people. I believe after he's in this the Ohio section right there too, as well, because I see um, Governor Mike DeWine uh, from Ohio there. Yep, now I see Ohio uh, the, the sign there. So he's in his 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 state his home area. state yeah. area, uh, greeting people uh, right before he goes up there to make that big announcement. I'm 39 years old. Uh, and if uh, he succeeds with the former president for the election, he will be one of the youngest serving vice presidents in U.S. history. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as uh, Paris was saying, the father of three uh, mm -hmm. young kids, his wife is joining him there on the floor as well, greeting all, all the, uh, the delegates there on the floor. And I think this is actually maybe a good time to go over to Scott because Scott has done a little background uh, research for us as well on this new VP nominee. Right, Scott? Yeah, Terrence and Sylvia, good to see you both. Uh, J.D. Vance has enjoyed, as been mentioned uh, by Paris, a meteoric rise in the Republican Party at 39. He is nearly 40 years. Trump's junior, a one-time venture capitalist. He gained national fame with his memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, which became a popular film. The former Marine, who has been a vocal 2020 election denier, was not always a Trump supporter. In fact, he once described Trump as a, quote, cultural heroine before changing his tune while running for Senate in Ohio. Trump endorsed him, and that was a very big deal. Trump is credited with helping Vance defeat popular Democrat and former presidential candidate Tim Ryan. Now, Vance came under fire this past weekend in the aftermath of the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Political analyst David Axelrod suggested Vance should be disqualified for vice president after posting to X that the Biden campaign is partly to blame for the attempt on Trump's life. Terrence and Sylvia, political analysts say with the selection of J.D. Vance, Trump has not only injected both youth and energy into this campaign, but also somebody who will provide unwavering loyalty. And that's important. That's something Trump did not enjoy with former Vice President Mike Pence on January the 6th.